Hey folks, welcome to our next exit. February the 1st, 2020. Time for another monthly expense report. Let me real quick go over a couple of items just in case you're new here. We do a monthly expense report every month and in it we include all of our expenses with the exception of going forward we're not going to include any costs that are associated with our YouTube channel like if we buy new camera equipment or uh, any expense associated with that any charity or uh, birthdays Christmas any of that stuff is not included we own our motorhome we own our car and we purchased a membership to thousand trails that cost four thousand dollars that's a campground membership organization that's not included we do have annual dues uh, for several camping organizations we allocate one twelfth of the annual dues into each month's expense report plus any campgrounds that we have to actually pay for. Generally we camp for free. In this spreadsheet you'll notice in this column just right up here in this whole column we'll have all of our expenses for the month for each of the line items. Then in the next column over we'll have the 12 month total for the last 12 months the totals for each one of the line items in this column. Then the next column over is the totals for the last 12 months divided by 12 and that will give us what we average each month on each line item for the last 12 months. And then in the final column we've been doing this for 32 months since June of 2017. That's the totals for each line item divided by the 32 months. So for the uh, to give you the monthly average over the last two and a half years. We also keep track of this column up here. It's our daily fuel cost per night, the average daily fuel cost per night. So that just takes uh, whatever we spend on fuel for the month and divide it by the number of days in the month to see what we're averaging per day. And then right below that is the same thing for campground. This is the most interesting one. And we'll go into this number here of our average for the month. Then here our average for the last 12 months. And then this one will be our average for per month for the last 32 months. So hopefully that kind of gives you a feel for it. Let's kind of go over where we've uh, gone to in January. We drove 278 miles. We started out here in Yuma Lakes, just north of uh, Yuma, Arizona. We went up here to Imperial Dam and we spent about a week boondocking there with some friends. And then we went up here to Quartzsite to uh, La Posa South, a uh, long-term visitors area. We had to buy another $40 permit for another two weeks. We only spent a little over a week there, I think. And then now we're currently at uh, Casita Verde in uh, just outside of Casa Grande, Arizona. That's the 278 miles we drove. We moved three times as I just listed. So we spent 13 uh, nights here at Casita Verde. And that's a trails collection. So we stayed here for free. There was a $3 dog fee that we had to pay. That's something new they're doing. And we spent 18 nights at uh, outside of Thousand Trails. Two of them are at Yuma Lakes up there by Yuma. Those are RPI parks. And we pay $10 a night to stay in RPI parks. We spent six days at Imperial Down in Imperial Dam boondocking and we spent 10 days at uh, La Posa LTVA long-term visitor area just outside of Quartzsite. And both the, the Imperial Dam and La Posa we had to buy a $40 permit. We spent $210 for uh, fuel and once again let me show you how this works. You can go to Our Journey in Miles. Uh, Mark and Sue have a website there that you'll see their TDS Logistics uh, video and explains it very well. So I'm not even going to go into explaining how it works. Uh, you can sign up over there, watch their video, and if you like it, sign up over there. But it's a huge savings, uh, in our opinion. Driving from uh, Quartzsite over to Casa Grande, we stopped at Love's and bought fuel. And on the d diesel dispenser, it said $2.50. And then here's the bill we got. It showed $2.50 was the retail price. 
we got a discount of $44.75, right at 50 cents a gallon. They keep 10% of that, so they keep $4.48. We got charged $210. It was $250 for 81 gallons. 210 is what we were charged. They debit right to your checking account. The credit price was $312. The cash price was $307, and we ended up paying $258. So pretty good deal. Check out our journey in miles if you're interested. If you have a diesel rig and you buy a lot of diesel, definitely worth uh, your time to research it. And as you can see, our diesel cost for this month was $677 a day. We averaged $677 a day for diesel. For the last month, we've averaged $10.60 a day for diesel. And since we started our journey, we average eleven dollars and forty-eight cents, and here's our average mileage. We uh, average six hundred fifty miles, and since we started, we average about seven hundred. So six hundred fifty to seven hundred, you can see, is our average mileage, and our average daily cost is right there. For camping, we spent two hundred thirty-nine dollars, and as I said, we we have a uh, six hundred twenty-eight for thousand trails annual dues. 214 and I think they've raised that up to almost 300 bucks now for trails collection so in June we'll have to decide if we want to renew that one or not and then 150 for RPI let me kind of give you an idea of these parks here's the parks we have for thousand trails we've got 81 parks here and we can stay at any of these parks for free and then we have trails collection which gets us a hundred and something additional parks and here they are uh, and most of those are free uh, we can stay in these parks from one to fourteen days and then we have to go out and not stay in them for a week and then we can stay in them again for one to fourteen days there's about twenty of them fifteen to twenty of them that charge you twenty dollars a day they're a little bit higher end parks or more desirable lo locations so for some of the parks you have to pay 20 bucks a day but for the most part they're free and then uh, we have rpi and here's the uh, rpi locations there's about 150 of these and to stay at any of these it costs us ten dollars a night to stay in the rpi parks the 81,000 trails parks cost us 628 dollars the 110 uh, trails collection parks cost us 215 and that's going up I think to almost 300 uh, currently so when we renew in June we may have to make a decision if it, we feel it's still worth it and then there's about 150 of the RPI parks that cost us 150 bucks a year we add all those numbers up $992 divided by 12 and we put $83 each month into our expense report then on top of that we had uh, we made a reservation for one night at Buckskin Mountain and we weren't able to make that so we lost the forty dollars that we had to put down for deposit and then Yuma Lakes R uh, R RPI we had two days there so we spent twenty dollars ten dollars a night for those two nights and Casita Verde where we're at now we have uh, we paid six dollars that's we stay here free but the trust collection it's a couple of them we've started running into a three dollar dog fee uh, and that's that's something new that we just started seeing i don't know if that's going to be at all the trails collection or just at uh, select ones and then we bought two 14 day permits to stay on blm land at the long-term visitors area one at yuma and then one up at quartzite and those are forty dollars each so that was eighty dollars so a total of 229 for the month we averaged 739 for campground fees a day for the last 12 months we've averaged a little over ten dollars a day and since we've started we're averaging about eight dollars and fifty cents a day for campground fees uh, as long as we're under ten dollars we're pretty good we'd shoot for five dollars a day but i don't know that we may let's see oh there was 277 26 so we made it a number of days here in the summer these are pretty much complete trails collection they I mean thousand trails so we do make it on occasion but uh here's what we're averaging 850 for a motorhome repairs we had uh 
if you saw our last video our convection oven burnt out we could have repaired that for about $25 and bought a little diode that uh, we found it it was bad we checked it out and it seemed like that's what generally causes most of these convection ovens when they quit heating that's the cause but Pearl wanted to go ahead and get a new one that has some more features uh, where it cooks and reheats and defrosts uh, measuring it internally so anyway we got a new one it bolted right in it took about 30 minutes to install it. it took an hour or so to get it out but not too long to install it we had our aqua hot service generally I service the aqua hot once every year to two years uh, depending on how it's burning but last time we had it done by lazy days and they messed up so much stuff at lazy days I wanted to have it uh, quartzite there was a, a gentleman from from uh, aqua hot that was there doing tune up so we went ahead and just hired him to do it and check it out he said everything was in good shape so that worked out good and then we had two battery cables made for our coach batteries I, the cables I had were a little bit smaller they were closer to the size of my little finger and we needed something closer to the size of my thumb I think it's two watt cables we put on there and at quartzite it was you know a lot of stuff you can get pretty good deals on but uh, we didn't get a good deal we on the internet you can find the exact cable for like fifteen dollars and they charge us thirty seven bucks but I needed them and it made a big difference it it uh, the cables we had just weren't uh, heavy duty enough big enough and we uh, our monthly average as you can see back in February of last year we had ten thousand dollar expense at lazy days that's going to fall off next month so I'm real excited to see that come down we are averaging eight hundred dollars a month since we started our adventure in maintenance motorhome repairs and uh, the last 12 months is fourteen hundred that's due to this right here uh, there's always some maintenance and I think five hundred dollars is probably a number that most people with a motorhome could count on but uh, we've had we've had some problems but hopefully we're uh, past most of that uh, our auto auto gas repairs for our license plates everything's hundred and forty four dollars we had the oil and filters changed uh, the oil filter the cabin filter and uh, we use that synthetic blend oil ninety nine dollars for gasoline and then one car wash for our car for uh, our insurance for the car the RV and then we have a million dollar umbrella policy 1556 for our full-time RV insurance for our 42 foot class A motorhome 600 or 834 dollars for our car insurance and then 286 dollars for a million dollar umbrella and policy and that's the umbrella policy we've got this question a couple of times that's more to cover us if we was to have an accident or some incident and somebody sued us and it was for more than our limits that would help cover anywhere we came up short on something that we have insured already and our limits are too low that will make up the difference or at least that's the plan groceries this is one that gets a lot of people's attention a thousand fifty five dollars uh, we're averaging since we've been doing this eight hundred and seventy for the last uh, three and two and a half years and 960 for the last 12 months this month we did bought a lot of groceries because we had a big get together with five or six couples and we bought plenty of, to make sure we had plenty of food to make breakfasts and some dinners and stuff so anyway that was up a little bit uh, we made up for it because we haven't gone out to eat much we've done a lot of cooking in the uh, camper and then out outside on the barbecue and the grill but that's everything groceries cleaning supplies uh, paper products we bought a lot of paper plates and pl plastic utensils a lot of paper towels a lot of handy wipes all that kind of stuff baby wipes goes into this anything we buy in a grocery store goes into that number and, and liquor beer and liquor we stocked up pretty good on some uh, alcoholic beverages and wine so you probably can adjust that you may go up but a lot of you may go down on that dining out only $59 we averaged 275 for the last 12 months we've averaged 350 but this month we were all eating at home internet and cell phone real quick 
We have two cell phones, both with Verizon. We have one Jetpack, Verizon Jetpack, that we get 15 gigabytes of high-speed internet. People ask, and then we have one Jetpack that's unlimited. And that unlimited Jetpack, Jetpack is what we use for all of our internet. The second Jetpack that has 15 gigabytes, that was on a two-year contract. And we've got three or four months left, and we'll turn that off pretty soon. So the only reason we have two Jetpacks is because one of them's on the contract. The unlimited one is a month-to-month. Uh, deal but that serves all of our internet for the most part we have unlimited internet if we're in an out-of-the-way place we have a 25 foot uh, antenna telescoping uh, mass that we hook a directional antenna to and we can point it right find the Verizon tower and point right to it and being up 25 foot we can get tires that are you know pretty long distances away the only only thing that affects our internet now generally is bandwidth. If we're like during the week that everybody was at Quartzsite, there were so many people there using Verizon, we had almost no internet because there was just limited service there and way too many people trying to use it. So bandwidth is what hurts us on internet nowadays. Uh, Direct TV, that's eighty nine bucks. That's just a monthly fee for that. Uh, medical. Real quick, we have uh, our Medicare all kind of changed for 2020. We are, our Part A is free, Medicare. Our Part B, Medicare, is $145 for each of us. So that's $290. Our Part D, we went to a less expensive Part D plan. Uh, it's a Walmart plan. is $13 a piece. We don't take, well, I take a high blood pressure thing and Pearl takes a couple of little things but none of them are expensive or anything so we got the cheapest part d plan we could have 13 bucks a piece so that's 26 dollars and then we have a part g medigap plan and that's for uh, medicare pays 80 percent you're stuck with 20 percent so that pays all the 20 percent uh, most anything if medicare covers it uh, this part g will fit catch any deductibles or anything above and beyond Medicare, if Medicare covered it to start with. So anyway, Pearl's is 125 a month and mine's 131 a month. So that gives us a, our 572. Pet care, uh, we had to take Tinker in to get her shots and get her checked up real quick here in Casa Grande. So that's what that is. Recreation hobbies. Uh, just some tourist stuff uh, that's sixty dollars I don't have all that added in I need to adjust that that should read sixty dollars we take out we don't include anything for our YouTube channel uh, just for my own personal stuff we bought some stickers we're passing out those are like six hundred bucks have those designed and printed and shipped and then music that we use on our video is hundred and fifty dollars we pay for that that's for the whole year and uh, but we're not adding that in that's just for my notes and then we zero for computer hardware clothing and mail we didn't spend any on any of those so our totals is uh, 3927 for the month of uh, January 2020 it's $126.68 a day for the last 12 months. We spent $61,181. And like I said, this $10,000 kind of blew that out of the sky. For the uh, 32 months we've been doing this, we've averaged, we take the whole cost for the whole 32 months and then divide that by 32 months each line item by 32 months and that comes to forty four thousand one hundred forty dollars a month or forty nine thousand six hundred ninety for the year so basically fifty thousand dollars is what we spent that includes this ten thousand so once that goes away hopefully these numbers will start kind of coming down it won't go away from here so still keep average averaging in but it uh, will be less and less of a factor so that kind of does it. January 2020, 
for the month we spent uh, right at four thousand dollars and it's we're kind of bouncing right in that 45 to fifty thousand dollars generally we uh that seems to work pretty good for us i hope this helps you if you got any questions put them down in the comment below if you want a copy of it's not this spreadsheet the one i send out is the one that ended with uh, uh december of 2018 but i'll send that out to you if you want it it shows the numbers up through the year uh and then gives a blank spreadsheet where you can put in your numbers to kind of make you a budget. Because uh, a lot of these, all these numbers are what we actually spent. It's going to be different from what you spend or what you project you'll spend. You may have a lot more for, you know, recreation and hobbies and uh, tourist stuff. And you may have less for food and whatnot. Uh, and maintenance, probably have a lot less for maintenance. Anyway, if you want a copy of that, there's a blank one in there you can use for a budget to enter your numbers and then you've got our numbers in there to give you some guidelines of what we spend so i hope that helps that takes care of january we're headed back uh we're leaving tomorrow we're headed back out to the desert we're going to do a little more boondocking we're going to work on editing the video from when we had everybody in the campground we sat for an hour or two and just did a general discussion about the rv lifestyle and gave all the six couples of people i think that'll be an enjoyable uh, video hopefully we can get that in the next week or so and then we had this delta this 1700 watt lithium ion battery uh portable power station that we use boondock and i think you're going to be really surge protector interested in that video it's a groundbreaking Set product. Ground, which is it recharges other. totally in like an hour, between one and two hours. It is, uh, it's really helped us. We're going to use it some more and put that video out here in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. And then obviously we'll see you the 1st of March for February's numbers. Until we see you again, folks, keep the wheels rolling. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit. Bye-bye.